Hello fellow Canucks and world citizens. My name is Patrick Lowe, Canadian Film Geek Esquire, and I'm here today to celebrate a National Canadian Film Day, a day in which Canadians across the country celebrate their own national cinematic heritage. And to help kick off this program, I'd like to begin with a joke by Regina filmmaker Brian Stockton. It goes like this. A young boy asks his father, Dad, why do we celebrate National Canadian Film Day? Because, the father says, every other day of the year is National American Film Day. Now, make no mistake, I am in support of National Canadian Film Day. In fact, I applaud the efforts of Real Canada and its associates to support and exhibit Canadian features across the country, introducing Canadians to their own cinematic product. In fact, I'm in favor of this because for the other 364 days of the year, most Canadians are in the dark about their own cinema. In fact, it's pretty well invisible to them because only 3% of our films make it on our national screens. Put bluntly, we know our own music, our own books, and our own television better than our own Canadian features. And in fact, many Canadians, including many of our leading columnists, academics, intellectuals, politicians, media spokespersons, and even filmmakers and producers themselves, hate and despise their own country to the point they regard that Canadian film is a lost cause. Or as one filmmaker once put it, in Canada, the milk rises to the top. So as a result, the general attitude with most Canadians for the past century has been that Canadian film, or at least English Canadian film for the most part, just plain sucks. And if you don't believe me, read the reviews of some of Paul Gross's films and you'll get my gist. So traditionally, Americans have thwarted our attempts to gain control of our own national distribution system. And so being the deferential Canucks that we are, we blame ourselves. We say our own films are too dull, too boring, too uncommercial, or too this or that to really go beyond 3% of our national screen time. My main bone of contention is this. Canadian films don't suck. It's our own attitude towards Canadian film that really blows. <gasps> because if we continue to see ourselves only as losers, we're not going to be able to attract the kind of ear-going movie public from our own tax-paying citizenship. In fact, one day a year is just going to be that, a lost cause and a charity towards films that aren't being seen. There'll be no progressive action or change of heart unless we start watching Canadian films more and appreciating what we already have. My goal is to promote unseen Canadian films or forgotten Canadian features throughout the year so that we can show you the good, the bad, and the eccentric, the junk and the masterpieces, the seen and the unseen, and in doing so, by promoting Canadian film, get a better understanding of our own cinema and ourselves, and as a result, pave the way for more admission tickets down the line when Canadian theaters open after COVID-19. So at least once a month, I'd like to focus on some of the great unseen Canadian films that fell by the wayside, including three great exploitation flicks from the early 70s. Paperback Hero, 1973, a fast-paced melodrama set in rural Saskatchewan with Care de Lee from 2001 A Space Odyssey, filled with car chases, bloody hockey fights, steamy bath scenes, and a climax to rival high noon. I'm the marshal this town. Then there's Slipstream, a visually stunning and sounding debut feature, which scandalized the country in 1973 when it won big time at the Canadian Film Awards for Best Picture and Best Director. And then there's Vengeance is Mine, a 1974 rural Canadian thriller, starring a terrifying Ernest Borgnine as a religious and psychotic farmer up against three bank robbers, including Michael J. Pollard from Bonnie and Clyde. And if you haven't heard of these films before, all the better. I'll help broaden your horizons on Canadian film in a way that's faster and more ferocious than any other moderator or film festival programmer before me. So you'll learn something as well as have a good time.
Otherwise, I'm Patrick Lowe, Canadian Film Geek Esquire, signing off. See you next time. <laughs>